Welcome to the LG booth at CES 2019. LG have once again created quite a dramatic entrance to their booth. It's their OLED waterfall. It's made up of 260 55 inch OLED panels. And as you know, OLED can be bent. And as you, we can see from the waterfall, some of them have been bent to the, the radius of a meter. So they're, they're, they're quite curved. Uh, in the entranceway. So once again, demonstrating the versatility of the OLED format. We're going to see that with the new OLED R television, the roll-up TV, the world's first rollable television. But again, LG stunning the audience here, the crowd entering the booth for the first time with that dramatic OLED waterfall. Well, without a doubt, the, the standout feature on the LG stand this year and the, the entire show, I think, is the LG OLED R. That's the world's first rollable OLED TV. Now this TV, OLED is flexible material and can be bent and rolled up. So what happens with this TV is that it rolls up into a cabinet that's probably like the size of an oversized sound bar. And then when you want to watch TV, it just elegantly rises up out of the cabinet. You can go to full view if you want to watch TV properly. There is also a, a a view, a thin view where you can actually have a third of the TV protruding out of the box. But in, in that mode, you can have your photos, play music, uh, ha have all kinds of other things there, some information, the weather, etc. And then there's zero view, which of course is when the TV is put away completely. And when the, when the, the screen rolls back into the cabinet, uh, the, the, the little opening closes and then you can just see the cabinet. So if you've got this in front of a, a view, a window, uh, the you, when you roll the, the TV down into the cabinet, you can see your view again. It's got, also got inside the cabinet, it's got some uh, f the, the, for speakers, a Dolby Atmos speakers as well, so it's a sound solution as well. The circuitry of the TV is in the box. The inputs can go in the lower back corner of, of the cabinet as well. So it's a real revolution in the way we, we picture our televisions. Normally they're sitting on the wall, they're there the whole time. But in this case, with the LG OLED R, when you finish watching TV, you can simply put it away. LG have named their OLED the OLED R. And R stands for three things. Roll, because it's a rollable TV. Rise, because that's what the screen does out of the cabinet. And revolution, they're saying it's a revolution in television. And I have to say, it is an absolute game changer. 8K TVs are very popular here at CES, and LG have released their first 8K OLED TV, it's this 88 inch TV behind me and it looks magnificent. It's got more than 33 million pixels on the screen. So the, the image is, is super, super sharp. I don't, I don't, I'm not sure if your eyes can see that well, but the picture is simply stunning. It can upscale all your existing content as well. There's no 8K content to speak of at the moment, but this TV uh, looks superb. They're also gonna have 8K TVs uh, in the SUHD format as well, but this is the world's first 8K OLED TV. All of LG's TVs are gonna be powered by the Alpha 9 Generation 2 processor, and that's gonna do a number of things. That's gonna uh, enhance the image quality, the sound quality. Uh, there's the AI sound as well, so it's really gonna power the smarts of the TV to give the viewer a better experience, whether it's visually or in the audio side as well. Now, a big part or a major part of LG's product lineup this year, from televisions all the way through to appliances, is their ThinQ artificial intelligence. And this, this offers more than just react and control. What these devices do is actually offer recommendations. So they can, they can react to what you're doing. They can recommend things as well. So for example, if you've used your washing machine a certain number of times, it can recommend a tub clean or a link clean. If, you're, if you started using your, your stick vacuum cleaner, it will suggest, well, should I use the robot vacuum cleaner to help you uh, as well? So the, well, the idea of, of ThinQ AI is to help give you that advantage where it, it, the, the outside factors and all the data that the, the ThinQ is looking at is then presented to the user. So for example, if, you, you, if it's gonna rain later in the day, it might suggest, look, you might wanna take a raincoat, it's gonna rain later this afternoon. 
uh, and, and, all, and this can apply in other areas too, whether it's washing, whether you're in the kitchen, whether you're watching TV, AI can even be used to offer personalized recommendations for your content. So it's, it's looking at all these data that we, that we generate during the day, analyzing it, analyzing our habits, and giving us the best outcomes, the best recommendations to make the use of that product even better. Of course, a lot of these products, most of them in fact, have voice control, whether it's through Google Assistant, or Alexa, so there's that, there's that level of convenience as well. So you can find uh, recommendations, you can make commands, control the products, but also ask questions and receive that feedback as well. So the, the assistance that we used to on our smart speakers and on our phones, Google uh, and, and Alexa, they're also gonna be available through the ThinQ range as well. This here is the LG Cinebeam. This is a laser short throw projector, and this can project a 90 inch image from just five centimeters off the wall. Drag it back a little further, you can increase your image size to 120 inches. Now it's, it's a 4K projector. There are speakers built into it as well. So if you want the big screen experience at home, this is the product for you. A big part of LG's offerings in 2019 are gonna be a new range of sound bars. They've partnered with the well-known British audio company Meridian to come up with some great audio solutions. And all of the sound bars, there will be several in the range. We'll have 4.1.2 surround sound and will really enhance the viewing experience. They can be mounted uh, on the wall or on a shelf and the sound bars will actually adjust because they've got Dolby Atmos on board. So the speakers need to be firing in a certain direction. So whether it's sitting on an entertainment unit or mounted on the wall, there are sensors that can adjust the speaker arrangement to give you the best quality sound. LG's signature range of products are called signature because they are not only beautiful, they're aesthetically pleasing, but they're also very easy to use. And the products range from everything from appliances like for refrigerators, all the way up to their signature wallpaper OLED TVs. One example of a signature product is this refrigerator. It can be configured as, as a wine cellar or as a regular refrigerator. It has a large window on the front where you double tap and the window becomes see-through so you can see into the fridge but it also has an automated drawer. So you can, you pass your foot in front of the drawer at the bottom and the drawer magically opens and the, the shelves rise to meet you so you don't have to bend over. And then at the, so when you're finished, they simply slide back into place and the fridge goes dark again. Well, if you're into your beer, LG has the product for you. It's called the Home Brew. It's what I call the Nespresso of beer makers because it's a capsule-based system. So you choose the different flavors you want. There's up to five different flavors you can choose. And you set up the system, and two weeks later, depending on the type of beer you want, you've got cold brew coming straight out of the tap. Now the beauty of this system is that there's virtually no skill involved. You just use the capsules and it works by itself. But when you're done, it's actually self-cleaning, which is a big deal uh, in the world of home brewing. Rather than having to clean the system, this uses steam to clean it by itself. So keep an eye out for this later this year. If you're a beer lover, you could be able to make your own with LG's homebrew.